Hello everybody, welcome to Just Biotech Geeks. In this tutorial, we are gonna see how to create a cell viability dose response curve using Microsoft Excel. I hope you know to calculate percentage cell viability and standard deviation. If not, do watch the previous tutorial and do subscribe to our Telegram channel for free softwares, nodes, and reference books. The link is in the description. As this tutorial was recorded on the Mac version of MS Excel, there would be slight change in the options, but similar options are available even on Windows version. Now, let us proceed with this data. Select the mean cell viability percentage from the tabular column. Click on the insert menu from the menu bar and select a 2D bar graph. Here we have a graph. Now, let us give a title to the graph as cell viability dose response curve. Next, select the value on Y axis. As you click on the value, a format axis tab appears on the right side of the desktop. Now, we are going to change the maximum value from 120 to 100. Now, let us click on the tick mark option and give a mark on the outer side of the Y axis. Next, click the number option and change the decimal value from 2 to 0. Now, right click the value on X axis and click on select data. Here you can view a horizontal category axis label option. Click here and select the value from the table. Next, we are going to insert the title to both the axes. So let us go to the chart design and click on add chart elements. Now, click on axis title option and select primary horizontal. Similarly, click on primary vertical. Now we can rename both the axes. Let us click on the X axis title and rename it as concentration micromolar. Similarly, click on the Y axis title and rename it as percentage cell viability. Now let us double click on the grid lines and press delete. Next, we are going to add error bars to the graph. Select chart design from the menu bar and click on add chart elements and then Click on error bar. Select more error bar option. Now we can see a format error bar tab on the right side of the desktop. Next, click here and select custom option. Click on specify value. Here you can see a dialog box with positive and negative error values. Let us click on the positive error value and select the standard deviation values from the tabular column. Similarly, Click on negative error value and select the same standard deviation value from the tabular column and press OK. The cell viability dose response graph is ready. So that's all for this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.